All right, we are on slide three now. Um, I noticed something um, when I was practicing this to make this tutorial about the text that we copied and pasted. So I'm going to have you guys do this for step one on this slide. Um, <clears throat> my text, excuse me, there was like some formatting here that I didn't like that I really couldn't even see. So just do this for me, regardless if you see any formatting or not. Go ahead and select the entire um, paragraph, which I just triple clicked. And then you're going to come up here. This is the clear all formatting option. It really comes in handy whenever you copy and paste things from somewhere so that you don't have to manually go in there and reformat everything. So if you hit clear formatting, um, that again is just going to get rid of any formatting that from when you copied and pasted. Okay, so back to, let me recopy my bulldog real quick. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go into step two here. So when you first copy and paste an image onto a document, the image is not very easy to move around. And when you do move it around, a lot of times it completely messes up your text and how you have that laid out. So what you can do to fix that is you can come right here and click this layout with, with your image selected. You will see this option right here. This is your layout options. Now, I'm going to be honest, these first four all kind of do the same thing. So we're not going to really mess with these. Uh, we're not going to play with each one of these. So go ahead for now and click square. So what that does is when you are ready to move your image and have it interact with your text, it will allow you to drag it there and then it will manipulate the words or redo the layout of the, of the text around your image. So go ahead now and do that and then just drag your image somewhere up here. I don't care if you put it in the center, the left, or the right of your text. Any, any way is fine with me. Pause me and go ahead and do that now. Step three and step four, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and copy and paste the text and the dog again. <coughs> and then this time we're going to do, we're going to change the layout options for behind the text. So, um, let's go ahead and copy this. I'm going to double, excuse me, triple click on it, control C, put my cursor somewhere down below, control V. Ooh, it went ahead and did the whole thing. That's kind of nice. Hopefully it did for you too. If not, go ahead and recopy your image and repaste your image. So this time, um, we're going to change the layout options. We're going to click on this little dog again. We're going to change the layout options to, you can either do, um, let me move myself. You can either do, I don't know what's happening right now, so tight. All right, something just happened to my screen, so I don't know if you guys can see me or not. Either way, um, your layout options here, you can do behind the text, which means the image will lay behind the text, or you can do in front of the text, which means limit the image will lay in front of the text. I don't know why you would ever want an image in front of your text, so we're not going to do that one. We're going to go ahead and put this image behind the text. And then you'll see that now your image is behind the text. And go ahead and, I guess, center, um, center your image behind your text. 